I'm doing a review for this book. It's Vigla, The Complete Owner's Guide by Margaret Davis. So we're planning to get a puppy soon and Vigilas are one of the breeds that we particularly like. So that's why I got this book. Um, it's one of the only dog books I've found that is specifically about Vigilas. It covers many areas about dog care and the breed in particular. It wasn't a brilliantly written book. Um, it's very wordy, which was a bit of a job to get through. And there was a ridiculous amount of repetition. Um, this book would really benefit from professional editing. I had an attempt at noting some necessary changes, but they were so regular that I would need to get paid for the time to do it because it would be substantial. I'm not sure about the style this book has been written in. Um, at times, Davis seems to be giving her opinion. However, large sections seem to have been copy and pasted. And there is also an unusual use of language, which went from very formal to colloquial. Um, I found the introduction to hunting dogs interesting. I'm no dog expert, so most of this was new to me. And I found it very interesting to learn how different breeds were developed to be involved in different areas and styles of hunting. So from different prey to different terrain to different hunting styles. And there was a lot in the approach to puppy and dog ownership that was not the approach that I'm aiming for. This is partly a matter of personal choice, but it did put me off because a lot of what she was talking about, I was thinking, um, no, not going to do that. Um, this was in areas such as toilet training and crate training, which were not how I've so far learned about them or I'm planning to do them. Um, the food section was substantial and Davis convinced me. This is such an important area and one that I welcomed more information on. However, there was a lot of waffle and far too much information on certain aspects and it was delivered in a really boring way that made it impossible not to start skimming over sections. The training section seemed to use a similar training approach to the Haynes dog manual that I read and that was good because I like that approach. It's pretty much all reward based. Um, I preferred the Haynes book for training though because it was really well explained step by step with pictures and it included very basic training such as getting your dog to respond to its name accurately. This book did however go into more advanced training specifically for gun dogs and that seemed really useful as although I'm not looking to go hunting with a dog um, some of the training here would probably be good for the dog to learn and something to add to our repertoire and incorporate in exercise. The book also covered general care of visuals as well as how they age and this was interesting and of course upsetting at times. And the book also had a week by week section for puppy care which was okay. I suppose it's useful although it was very repetitive. Um, there are large sections of the book that are generic and not breed specific. Other sections are generalised to gun dogs and some areas are specific to the Vigla. So a complete owner's guide? I'm not sure. But certainly a worthwhile read if you want to know more about the breed. Anyway, after making a lot of effort to find what I thought was a good breeder to get a Vigla puppy, um, they've now well and truly fucked us over. So we're back to square one and keeping an open mind about different breeds. So please let me know of any dog breeds that you would recommend. We want firstly a family pet, so a dog that's good with children. We like being outdoors, so we're happy to have the dog with us. Um, and I want it to be a dog that responds well to training and preferably short haired, which I know is limiting. Okay, thank you.